Hi, today I'm looking at some different uh, strap locks for guitars and uh, they're probably the most, one of the most important accessories you can buy really for a guitar and what tends to happen with strap locks I've found is that people drop their guitars if the guitar doesn't completely break so that it's still um, something you can repair or, or still use uh, then they'll go out and buy some strap locks so that it doesn't happen again. So when your strap slips off of your guitar, if you're playing, it can smash down on the ground. I had one do that once. Um, or it can um, just fall off completely or you can be walking along. Sometimes people walk along carrying their guitar by the strap, which is never a good idea. If it just accidentally kind of slips off. Um, then your, your guitar's often wrecked. So strap locks can be a pretty cheap way of um, stopping this happening. And uh, yeah, there, there are more expensive ones and, and cheaper ones, but really the most expensive ones, which are probably around the 30 pound mark, um, that's still well worth it. You might have a, a guitar that costs 2000 pound and you're, you're stopping it from getting wrecked by spending 20, 30 pound. So anyway, a few different options. Um, what we've got here is locks. I'll show you how, how these different ones work in a second. I really like those. Um, they're one of the cheaper options actually and they're, they're really good. They're relatively new, these ones. Um, there's a few Daddario options. This is their, their latest. Daddario always sort of making um, different versions of strap locks and, um, and uh, they do some really good ones. These are their, their cheap ones. So I'll show you how those work in a minute not necessarily the neatest looking ones, but they, they work. Dario's sort of more expensive strap locks here. Um, that's these ones here. I'll quickly show you how those work actually. So, you've got the, the bun which comes with the strap lock. This part attaches to your strap, as you can see that. And it's quite sort of simple to use this one. You just you just push it onto the. You can see where the this hook sort of goes underneath the, the rim of the, the button. So you just kind of push it down, lift it up, and you don't really need to do anything with this little wheel at the top. You just uh, you do to take it off, but to push it on, you just sort of kind of flip it up, and it locks on. And that won't come off, however hard you pull it. it definitely won't come off. Now to intentionally remove it you have to then lift this little button up put it down and next it's off so you just pull the little button and that allows you to take it off put it on you don't need to do anything other than just push it in place okay so that's that one uh, this one here this is um i'll show you one of these on a guitar in a second this one is actually built into the strap so the strap button that i'm using here this would just be a normal strap button that you'd get on the guitar. So when you buy these, you don't get the strap buttons. You just use the, the buttons that are already on the guitar. And these are um, Daddario straps, which are a good quality straps anyway. And I've, I've got lots of different strap button, uh, strap locks that I use myself. And I've, the most recent thing I've bought is one of these. And I use it, I use it quite a lot. And uh, to put this on, just like the other one, you just kind of hook it underneath and pull it up and it clicks into place. So there's, it doesn't take a second to put on, there's nothing fiddly about it. To take it off, pull this little grey plastic bit out outwards and then pull downwards and then it'll come off. So I would say that it's maybe slightly more fiddly to take off than this one, but barely at all. And to go on it's just as easy. That's those. Before I show you any other ones, I'll just quickly show you that the one that's built into the strap on a guitar. So I don't need to do anything, just push it down, pull across and you can hear it kind of click into place and that's pretty firmly on there, it's not going to go anywhere. And then to take it off, lift the button, push forward and that comes off. That's that one. Right, one of the um, 
the types that have been around for a long time, but they might have been the first ones actually, I'm not sure, but they're the first ones I came across anyway, and they're the shallows. I've got some here on, on an old strap of mine. And these ones still work brilliantly. The only problem with these is that the nut sometimes comes loose and you have to keep checking that. However tight you put the, this nut, they sometimes come loose, I've noticed. So I've got a habit of every time I put the strap on the tie, I just kind of feel that that's still tight. And, uh, but they work brilliantly, other than that. And uh, the way these work, a bit like one of the Daddario ones, this kind of hooks underneath the button. The button comes with the strap lock, so you, have, you can't use these on normal strap buttons. You have to take those off and replace them with these. And it just hooks underneath, underneath if you've got the tie like that. Now to put this on, you can't just pull it, you have to actually push, pull this little button up. I don't know if you can see it, that little button lifts up. So you pull it up and slide. And it's locked in place. And to take it off, you do the same thing, pull the little button up. I don't know if you can see that button lifting up. Pull the button up and then lift it off. So you could say that they're a slightly harder thing to put on than the, the new Daddario ones, but you know, they're not difficult to put on. I used these for years um, before going to any other um, strap strap locks, but they're, they're perfectly good. That's the only thing, as I said, that I don't like about them is the way these come loose. All right, so that's that one. And then the first one I've held up, the locks, these are great, I, I really like these. And um, the only negative thing about these is that they come with their own strap button like some of the others but the only negative thing is that with the um say the the old shallow ones like the here that strap button if you forget your strap or you lose your strap or something that's got the the strap locks on you can just put a normal guitar strap on there and that'll be fine you could even put on a daddario locking strap on there so you can treat that like a normal strap button. Now the problem with the locks ones is that the one, the thing that comes with it, the button, is like that. Works brilliantly as a strap lock, but you can't then put a normal strap on that because it will, it will just come off. I've got some of these on one of my straps and I'll just show you how this works. So that's on your guitar and then you just push and it clicks into place. So you don't have to do anything, like, like the Daddario ones, you just push it on and it's in place. You don't even have to hook it under and lift it up, you just push it. And to take it off, you just, a bit like the, the shallows, you just pull this little thing, this little button up, and then it releases it. So that's... And they're great, I like those. So that's those ones. So lastly, the, the cheaper, Daddario strap locks. Oh, one cool thing these have got actually, I forgot to mention. Um, you can put your lead through here. So um, there's a, an old trick that, that most gigging guitarists do, which is you have your strap on the guitar and you put your pass your lead through the strap before plugging in. And it means if you accidentally step on your guitar lead when you're playing, it doesn't just pull the lead out, which is something that that most of us have probably done at some point. Um, so that stops that happening, it kind of catches it and, and it doesn't come out. Anyway, so this will do a similar thing. The lead goes through there and this sort of pops open when you it's kind of quite a tough sort of sprung thing, but you can bend it open and put the lead through there. That's quite a, quite a good little feature. And uh, to put it on, the, the bigger, there's a bigger kind of circle where the strap button goes, and then you just pull it down, but push at the same time. These are a little bit more fiddly to put on, actually. And then it clicks into place, you can see. Obviously, the strap would be on there before, before you do that. I should have mentioned that. So you put your strap on as normal, and then push that on, and that's in place. And to take it off, you do the opposite. So you've got to sort of pull this bit up, and then slide downwards. And it comes off so they're a bit more fiddly but they're a lot cheaper than the others so they're a good alternative um, although you know I'd recommend spending a bit of money getting something like this ideally these are considerably cheaper than these um, and I think they work just as well
and uh, yeah but both I recommend any strap locks to be honest and the, the ones I also really recommend are these the actual straps these are great um, because they seem to work pretty much as well as as any of the, the expensive strap locks but they're built into a good quality strap um, we sell these here we sell all of these here and uh, but these come in loads of different colors and that and they're they're, they're a nice strap sort of good quality so anyway that's a bit about strap locks if you're not a guitarist that's probably the most boring video you'll ever see but uh, anyway um, if you like it please subscribe thanks <laughs>